This module is about project management success. We will answer two questions. Firstly, when do we consider a project to be successful? And secondly, when do we consider a project manager to be successful? Of course, there is some correlation between the two. When a project is successful, we often will find the project manager successful too. But there are some differences also that is, are important for you as a project manager. Let's look at the meaning of these two concepts. First we will look at the definition from the Dutch scholar Teun van Aken, who has done research on project success. His definition on project success is it is the extent to which the delivered project result satisfies the actors involved. IPMA has elaborated on this definition of project success and developed a definition of project management success. And in project management success it is the recognition of the project management results by the relevant interested parties. So here we do not only have the project result as a definition for project management result, but also the way the project manager has managed his project. And this is why this concept of project management success is so crucial for the effectiveness of a project manager. Both definitions share that stakeholders decide if the project is successful or if the project manager is successful. The conclusion we can draw of these two definitions is that a project manager need to focus his attention very much on the stakeholders of his project. The Standish Group is doing this research once every four years and, he docu and they document them in the so-called chaos reports. I've shown you the results of the years 1995, 1999 and 2001. What you can see is there is a development in it and nowadays uh, the relative scores don't change as much. But as we can see one of the important things is senior management involvement. This has everything to do with stakeholders, as I've mentioned before, and the user involvement, and also an experienced project manager. The research of the Dutch scholar Teun van Aken gives us four important success factors for a project. The first one, the less tangible a project is, the more structuring is needed. And in structuring we mean by setting up a good work breakdown structure, setting up a good schedule, by structuring the project organization, so that at least it is clear in what way we are going to pursue with the project. Then secondly, a goal-oriented style of working always leads in a higher degree to success. This means that as a project manager we need to pinpoint our team towards the goal. But also we need to make all our decisions with the end goal in our mind. The more goal-oriented you work is the third success factor, the less tools you need. It is not about tooling. It is about structuring, it is about um, going after the goal. And the fourthly, the more tools you apply, the lower the chance of success becomes. So tools, project management tools like scheduling software and all these other things are never the key success factors to a project. This, on the previous slides, all was about project success. Let's now make a step towards project management success. So the first question, based upon the Standish Group research, is the senior management involvement. Here we need to answer the questions, who are my customers? And secondly, who are my users? And then, who are my suppliers? We need to know who is the project sponsor and what do they want from this project. 
then we need to realize what is the goal. What is the effect, the final effect of this project? What is expected of it? Then what should the project deliver? Now see how nicely they fit into the conclusions of the standards group research. And then we need to realize and we need to answer the question what kind of project approach or project strategy does the project sponsor, does the users and does the supplier um, require from me. This is the foundation on which I'm going to build my project management plan in order to realize good project management success. I want to share a few definitions on project management. IPMA has the following definition. Project management is the planning, organizing, monitoring and controlling of all aspects of a project. It is the management and leadership of all those involved to achieve the project objective safely and within the agreed criteria for time, cost, scope and performance quality. The popular PRINCE2 methodology gives a slightly different definition but there are many commonalities. Project management is the planning, delegating, monitoring and control of all aspects of the project and the motivation of those involved to achieve the project objectives within the expected performance targets for time, cost, quality, scope, benefits and risk. Then we have the shorter definition of the Project Management Institute. Their project management is the application of knowledge and skills, tools and techniques to project activities to meet the project requirements. And finally I want to add an interesting addition of a popular method in the Netherlands, Project Based Creating. It is all of these above, but also project management is a way of working that makes full use of the creativity and the energy of the people involved with the project. And although this is not an international methodology, I do think it proves a point. Project managers are facilitating their teams and their team members to get the best out of them.